All life is all about the money. Oi, oi. Tyranny on the live stream like Kanye came with a live beat. I got the buzz like I'm live. I've always wanted to do shit like that, bro. Wait, I don't know what I did, but I kind of like sprained it. I don't know how you sprain your fucking neck. Well, I managed to fucking sprain my neck and it's sore. <sighs> so what's good guys? My name is Chitty and you are watching chitty talks a lot lately i have been watching a lot a lot of youtube videos like <sighs> youtube needs to pay me to just keep watching these videos because i can do it forever like i need to make this an income because it's lucrative i can do it because i'm taking my time to watch the content like <sighs> mental it is mental so you guys that are watching my content, thank you. I understand. I understand what you're going through. And I know that they should be paying you, but they don't. So, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Today, we will be watching being a lesbian couple in public, aka unsolicited attention. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that, that's a big one. That's definitely a big one. Um... Well, this video will be me having a conversation with um, Effie. I will drop a link of her video so you can go and watch it and subscribe to her channel. She's really, she comes out with like some serious mental shit. Grab a beverage, get cozy, get some snacks, because we're going to talk about it. It's time. You see, you see, you see, you see? Mm, she knows, she knows. She knows. And uh, did I bring a snack? <laughs> I fucking did. I did. I did. <laughs> so let's do this. I'm ready. Yeah, I remember mine. Yeah. To keep on point, make sure it's glistening so that the light can go. That just happened. This. Time to talk Ooh. about it. Yeah. I'm drinking rose. No, I'm not drinking. What? Why did I, I say, say rose? Echo falls, isn't it? Rose, <laughs> She's not getting tipsy, but I am. <laughs> and a little mug called cappuccino. Back to me. There's a name. My name is Fa. Welcome to the channel. There's a aunt. Hello, Fa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's besides the point. Fuck you, fuck homophobia. Imagine having to Okay, let's talk about it. Let's get a bit serious now. I have written notes because I'm a waffler, if you don't know. Let's first talk about how this topic came about. So let me just say, ever since I came very comfortable with my sexuality, I told myself that I'll never shy away from being openly me, being openly a lesbian. Like if someone were to ask me a question about my celebrity crush, for example, I wouldn't shy away by saying, yeah, it will be, it's a girl. I don't like the idea of prefacing, oh, but I'm a lesbian. I kind of just live unapologetically. So I promised myself when I became comfortable with my sexuality that that's how I'm gonna run and that's how I'm going to approach certain situations because it's not as normalized as we want it to be. Anyway, let me keep on going. It's another topic. <laughs> true, true. That's it, that's it. Number one, I don't, I don't believe in labels. That's one thing I need to just say. I don't believe in labels. Like, you can call me whatever, like whatever you think I am, whatever you think I is, call it, call me, like I don't care, like I believe I'm just an existing being, you know, I'm here for good, good time, not the long time, bro, like that's literally is, like I'm here 
just to feel the vibe, to enjoy the good times, to soak up the good memories. Like, I don't need those labels to kind of put me into, like, a box. Like, I'm not a caged animal, love. Thank you. I'm a human being, on. So, which lies as we want it to be anyway let me keep on going so keep on going my sister. <laughs> so yeah my sister i feel you i told myself that even in gatherings like if i'm talking to my friends and we're just bantering and people just talking about their experiences with guys or whatever that i will also be comfortable enough to talk about my experiences with girls and not feel like left out of the conversation of true like that's so true like when you're out with your friends and you're just chilling and having fun like when you are in a in a you know in a straight kind of like friendship group you don't know how to bring up your relationship because it's just like how, how are they gonna how are they gonna get it like would they get it would they just understand would they not make a big deal out of anything and you know overstep or anything just chill about the situation you get what i mean like if you call up like your friend that's straight it's like hey you know i just want an advice about it. it's like is it just like that's why i love one of my mates like literally i can call him up about anything and he'll just be like yeah just straight up just give me a good answer like just give me an answer that's not like so condescending or just like oversteps that you're just like what bro what are you talking about man feel embarrassed or shame to talk about my experiences so just basically living unapologetically just being confident just owning who i like and all that jazz in that same time i also vowed to myself that if i were to ever get a girlfriend that i would openly be affectionate with her in public i'm gonna do what the straight people do basically and not feel ashamed about it i don't care if people are looking that was my mind state that was my frame of thinking that's how i was thinking i still do however <laughs> You think so, you will think so, but this world is so crazy, and then you're gonna get hit on the back of your head. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I still do, however. <laughs> However, as my naivete became apparent due to seeing things on the internet and due to seeing reports and acts of violence against same-sex couples, True. I had to take a step back and I had to kind of think logically and think as much as I'm proud of who I am and not ashamed of who I am. Safety I comes first. About my safety and the person I'm with's safety when I'm out. And it irritated me a lot and it still does and I still try and not let it bother me. But when you're in a restaurant and you're holding your girlfriend's hand across the table and you're just talking and showing each other affection and laughing and you get the stares you get the sometimes you get nods of approval i don't mind that you know? my sister literally that that's the one that's the oh that gets on my nerve i'm like like mind you like mind your business bro like like just oh there's just no words literally it's really frustrating because everyone expects you not to like why are you taking it so serious kind of thing like sometimes people are like why are you take it? like don't take it too serious but it's like what, what do you want me to do like this like people are clearly just staring at you like the one that i hate is when people just like blink like they walk past you and their eyes are just like track you all the way back to your house and you're like how did you get here how do you eyeball leave your eyes and follow me to my front door jesus christ i need to snap out i'm too vexed i'm too vexed today like i don't know my blood is hot it's been boiling all day it's been it's been waiting for the sneak attack yeah, there are other people that are actually just like staring because they're like, you know, maybe they got the lazy eye that just stays there longer than normal. So it's just like, we get it. There's some people that are like that. There's some people that are like, yeah, you know, you're living a good life. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I know, but you have to make it a thing, bro. Like, this is not a thing. We don't do this. We don't do this. Because I don't know. 
you don't know me like that. So, why do you have to bring it up? You don't have to. You choose to. So make a choice not to. You feel me? You feel me? But other times you get the the adults, the aunties, the uncles, the older generation looking at you. You get the young kids kind of staring at you, especially like road men. Like, yeah, that's what I've noticed a lot. Like young boys, they get very excited when they see same sex couple yeah but yes as much as my attitude before was fuck you fuck homophobia i don't give a fuck about how you feel if i make you uncomfortable because there's nothing wrong with what i'm doing she doesn't give too many fucks bro she gives them out like dishes she's like pa, 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 pa. fuck you fuck homophobia i don't give a fuck about how you feel it wasn't that enough she had to throw a couple more because there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. As much as I exude that energy on a day-to-day -day basis, I then have to think about my safety and my girlfriend's safety and whoever I'm with safety, you know what I mean? It's not worth, it's not worth, I don't know, it's not worth my safety. Sometimes it's just not worth it, bro. Like sometimes you just have to just take those couple of stares and those, you know, back chat and those, you know, glares and just, just take it. Because what would you what 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 will happen if you punch the person? What will happen if you yell at the person? It turns into an argument, and sometimes it's just not worth it. Because then, you know, people's family break over shit like this. Serious. Whew. It's real stuff. It's a real stuff. I don't want to cater <clears throat> to ignorance. I don't want to cater to homophobia. I hate the idea of doing that. But I have to think about myself and I'm in few minds about it. So sometimes I'm like, sometimes the FA me is like, fuck it, like I don't care. Like I'm just gonna do it. Like people have to get comfortable. By me doing this, it just, it helps people kind of see it as normal, if you know what I mean. By exposing people to it, maybe it changes their, changes their mind. I understand. Custom to it. That was my thinking. I'm still very mixed about how I feel about it. I can't lie, I still, because because it's in me, like if you know my energy, you know I just, I hate ignorance. <laughs> I'm sure everyone does. But homophobia to, to be very specific, obviously, just irks me because how can, I need to breathe, how can, no. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I can feel her rage because I am feeling it. I'm like, mm. I'm like, sister. Sister, take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. Breathe in. Enjoy the breath. Now release. Release with all those vengeance. And when you heave, crack, 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 <laughs> but no seriously seriously i can feel her pain bro this is serious like people need to stop being fucking ignorant like stop being fucking ignorant the same way you feel like you have privileges is the same way that others need privileges too Like, I don't get it. I, d I don't get it. How does who I choose to love and whose hand I choose to hold and who I sleep with affect you in any aspect of your life? How does it affect you negatively in any aspect of your life? Think logically. There's no logic. There's actually no logic to it. <laughs> Me? Okay. <laughs> Like I said, people are busybody. You know it's busybody. Eh? You missus know it all. And you will know everything past anybody else. Eh? Just because. Just because. Hey. Uh, people are so... Sometimes I'm like, 
should I just go to an island and just live there for the rest of my life? I will I don't mind doing that. Cause sometimes people are just so annoying. And you're just like, do I want to keep dealing with this? But yeah, okay, so basically homophobia doesn't make any sense. And if you're smart, you understand that. Let me keep on breathe effort in and out. <sighs> you wanna hit on a girl, but then you feel like, you know, Okay, even if they're not lesbians or anything, you feel like that is a good pickup line. Like, come on, bro, you do not have. Why don't you have any game? Like, like seriously, is that all? Are you two lesbians? Um, <laughs> excuse me. Baffling. That's what I'm just saying. It's all baffling. Like people, st stupid, stupid like bro like i feel like i'm getting Tourette's out of just talking about this like this kind of topics that make your blood hurt right and then you just start developing like disabilities just because like you're so vet you start stammering you start cussing you just get vexed and on that topic i'm gonna read out other people's experiences same-sex couples experiences and how they feel about basically being affectionate in public or showing any signs of pda i'll leave it in the description below if you want to read the article as well with me, um, with my previous relationship was that I, I don't know, um, not leaving the house was better. It was better not to leave the house because then you don't get the uncomfortable smart, um, stares and smiles and winks and nods. Like it was easier to just stay at home and, you know, or the takeaway or just like, it was it was better just staying in your comfort space. That's why, like right now, I can I can literally live out of my room for like a month. Like I used to be such an extrovert, and now I am such an introvert. Like I don't want to talk to anyone. I know you like people are curious, and people are like, "Oh yeah, but we just want to learn and stuff." Sometimes you're learning at the wrong time bro like you don't like no when i'm chilling why are you learning when i'm chilling why are you being rude to me and i'm telling me that you're learning so i should chill like i don't want to chill like you're just ruining my night like i want to go out and have fun the same way you want to go out and have fun the way you want to hit on me like a dickhead is the same way i want to go hit on someone else like a dickhead so can we all just compromise and just be nice people and just not do too much well but it's kind of nice to know that it's not just you you know what i mean you're not the only one that's that holds the same frustrations and i don't feel guilty for about my safety because no, as much as i want to normalize it i have to think about people are mad people are actually people mad, are mad. So i have to think logically Crazy. and realistically basically about the situation mm -hmm. in the Public. We do hold hands, but it's dependent on feeling safe. For instance, we don't hold hands in my hometown. Danny's experiences of growing up in a rural town where he was attacked twice growing up for being gay contribute wow. to this unease. You can say times change, but they don't change at the same pace in all places. So you have to adapt your behavior appropriately. What I advise people, like in that in situations about coming out, sometimes it's also about security like i know that you want to be out and proud and you know not be ashamed of who you are but sometimes do not put yourself in harm's way do not put yourself in a situation that you could you know be like beaten up or like abandoned or like don't do it <laughs> like i am serious like the thought that someone out there it's not being loved or protected just because they're gay is so mad it's just with people ah the fact that shit like that actually goes on and it's actually like a fear of mine i hate it like the thought that someone you know is out there in pain just because do different somehow it's so stupid and i have never understood it i have just never understood it the fact that that's 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 a legitimate fear that people have that you know this could happen like it's a possibility so before you make the decision to 
you know come out and be out and proud make sure that you're safe make sure that you have people that are around you that loves you and will always be there for you make sure you you know you have you know the safety financially like somewhere to crash somewhere to eat so it you know clothes like you have somewhere safe you have a little bubble that you can go to and you will still be protected do not do it on your own keep your safety like but be clever about it you know like if you want to be out and proud put that as a goal strive to achieve that you know t work 10 times harder than anyone else so that you can achieve that goal you know if he has to wait till you're like 50 years old with like a freaking empire behind you so he can be like fuck you i am gay then freaking do that shit sometimes some people don't get that so make yours count you know do something good I thought that was some occultic whistling. Oh my God. I was scared, yo. Did you see how big my eyes open? I was like, bang, bang, bang. That was real. Very true. I kind of briefly heard it on a video. Some places in Europe are very, you know, chill with it. Like it's just normal. They don't really bat an eye if they see, if they see a same sex couple. The rugby lads walked behind us saying batty man when we were in a supermarket buying food. Every straight person we told about it seemed very shocked, but LGBT plus people definitely weren't. Being a same sex couple in public is basically just full of stares, comments, and um, it ain't nice, it ain't nice. I don't want to ramble on too much and keep on saying the same thing, but you kind of get the gist, you kind of get where I'm coming from. But I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. Yo, 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 guys, that was, that was a very, very, um, educational educational video and this is the kind of things that they should be teaching us in schools high school how to behave in public 101 do not stare you know when people are like oh no their parents probably taught them no their parents did not teach them because their parents are the one that is staring so obviously the children are going to stare you cannot tell me that now what so social studies eh the first lesson they should teach people in social studies how to socially study people. Eh? When you're walking and you see two people walking towards you, one, is it appropriate to stare into their eyes and make continuous eye contact one on one, gently versus you? You versus Jet Li. Or two, mind your fucking business and keep walking. For some people, option one seems to be the better option. These people are the ones that failed social studies. They are the people that repeated social studies. And they are still repeating social studies because they are still feeling it so all of you that are going to school you should start this petition social studies 101 social cooperation 102 external physical mental emotional Fahrenheit. Did you hear me? Fahrenheit. 305. So guys, <coughs> thank you so much for watching this video. And well, <coughs> we need to we need to come to an agreement, right? I'm not going to ask you, right? But you know what to do, you know? I'm not I'm not gonna ask you to like follow share or subscribe i'm not gonna ask you to do these things because that's not what friends do i'm your friend you know we do these things for each other so why don't you be a good friend and do your dutiful duties by you know what you you know it
You know it. So, catch you on the flip side, bro. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. I'm like a boxer. I'm like a boxer. <laughs> boxer.